What's up guys, King BMO TV here for another Duskborn Draft. You know the drill, take a second, like, subscribe, really appreciate it. And I do appreciate all your comments all the time, guys. I, I do enjoy it. Even if I don't agree with your feedback sometimes, I do appreciate the comment. And honestly, I'm not the best drafter at this format of all time, you know, that's for sure. So um, again, I don't always agree with your takes, but I do appreciate them. So thank, thanks for sharing and thanks for watching. Um, okay, so we have... Three pretty good white cards, um, maybe all worth first picking. Overlord and Mist Morris is just so, so, so good. Maybe maybe the best card in this set. One of my favorites, right? I do love that it makes the two flying creatures just win the game with them. Uh, I think this card's pretty good too, right? Hollowed, Haunting. As long as you control seven or more enchantments, creatures you control flying and vigilance. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, create a white spirit cleric creature token with this creature. This creature's power and toughness equal the number of spirits you control. Uh, yeah, so you just go all in on enchantments. There's a 0% chance we're going to table this or a Surgical Suite. Um, but I like white a lot, and I think this card's broken. So we're not going to see any white cards pack two. But maybe we could still see them pack three and pack two, uh, pack one. So uh, Overlord and Miss Moore's first pick. Fear Abduction's good. Grand Entryway, Elegant Rotunda is also good, especially if you have an Eerie. Any eerie card, this this card's just insane. This is this is probably the card that I was most wrong about when I saw this card. I said this card's bad, but now it's like this card's awesome. So I like Fear of Abduction a lot too. It's pretty expensive. It's really good. It's um end game card, but honestly, man, I don't love it. I feel like it's often I have it in my hand and I can't cast it because I don't have a creature or an enchantment. Whereas Grand Entry or an Elegant Rotunda, it's like always good. It's always good. And sometimes it's like just as good as Fear of Abduction if you have the right eerie creature. So I'm going to take the Grand Entry way and pass Fear of Abduction. The guy on our left is not going to get too many more white playables, but um, we got we to gotta pick a second color before pack two. Um, I guess we don't necessarily have to, but we're not seeing any white cards in pack two. Um, all right, this pack's pretty big bad uh defiant survivor is definitely strong but green white is really bad uh underwater tunnel slimy aquarium is cool i mean pyroclasm is okay but red white is like the aggro deck right so uh i mean we're we're like 100 white i'm not going to play overlord of miss moores i mean i'm definitely going to play overlord of miss moores no matter what I kind of like Underwater Tunnel Slimy Aquarium here. I'm going to take it. Uh, definitely rewarded here. We have a Ghostly Key Bearer in this pack, which is very good. Tunnel Surveyor is also pretty good. Erratic Apparition isn't the best, but it's a card. If you have enough enchantments, it's pretty solid. So we also have a Drag the Roots and Emerge from the Cocoon. Wouldn't mind having an Emerge from Cocoon in this deck, especially... Um, with Overlord and Mistmores, if it is killed, we can bring it back. So I do like, when I have a really good bomb creature, I do like a Raise Dead or Reanimate type effect. Uh, we have a Get Out here, which I do like a lot, but I think Unable to Scream is probably the way to go. We want to make sure we have plenty of removal. It's also an enchantment. This is one of those cards that um, doesn't look as good as it actually plays, but, it, but it's, it's definitely really good. Central Elevator, Promising Stairs. I mean, the dream, I'd love to... Make this work once. Uh, it's definitely easier to do in blue red than blue white, but definitely still possible. But I'm going to take the enable to scream here. I don't think we'll table this. I think some other crazy person will take it. But if we do table it, I promise I'll take it and I promise I'll go for it. So, uh, Meat Locker, Drowned Diner, another great room, uh, but another enable to scream is probably better. They're both both really nice. Uh, you know, what's cool about Unable to Scream, it loses the ability, so it looks like, you know, we'll probably be pretty flyer heavy in this deck, so. Uh, this is tough, man. Tough pick. I'll take the Unable to Scream. Let's, let's take the cheaper card. Uh, Twist Reality is okay. Ticket Booth, Tunnel of Hate is okay. Withering Torment's obviously pretty good. It's probably the best card in the pack. Uh, I'll take that. I don't 
want to play three colors, but it's definitely the best card in the pack, so let's take it. Keep our options open. Love seeing Meat Locker here. That's awesome. That's really good. I like really like where we're, we're at right now. Another murder. Back-to-back -back murder picks. Fear of Immobility or Erratic Apparition. It's probably the fear of the immobility. It's Curve-wise, it's obviously worse, but it's an enchantment. Trigger's eerie. Nice body. Uh, don't expect us to play any of these. I'll take the Winter's Intervention just in case. Looks like we'll have some okay black cards in our board. Skullcap Nuisance, sure. You know, maybe if our mana is like really supports three colors, we could do it because all three of these are worth playing, I think. We'll take the Emerge from Cocoon. Again, probably we'll play one. I'm very happy with how, how we started off here. Very pleased. Uh, pack 2, another Grand Entryway, Elegant Rotunda, or another Meat Locker. Duskmore's Domination is also fine. Uh, I don't love it, but as people are saying, the worst mind control of all time. Uh, I don't really disagree with it. Because, again, you either steal a creature for its power and toughness or for its abilities. So you're making it a non-threat and making it lose all its abilities. So you just kind of, it's a six matter removal spells full, as far as I'm concerned. We'll take the Grand Entryway, Elegant Rotunda. I'd love some early drop eerie creatures like a Gremlin, whatever it is, Gremlin, Blue White, Blight, Blue White Signpost Uncommon. Uh, Tunnel Surveyor's good here. Terramorphic Expanse is good. The Gloom Lake Verge could be good. I'll take the Tunnel Surveyor for now. Um, I mean, this is messed up. This should be a one drop. Make this a two drop. Those are fives. Okay. Um, maybe we could table Fear of Infinity. Maybe we could table Gloom Lake Verge or Terramorphic Expanse. Uh, that would be a pretty good signal. Obviously, it would be good for us, but it also would be a good signal if we could table either of these. Um, it would help us splash. So let's stick to our blue white, but keep our options open for Esper. Glimmer Seeker is really good. Does make an enchantment. Abandoned Campground would be really nice for us as well. Restricted off his lecture halls also pretty good, the left side at least. Uh, I don't know. It's a good pack, it's a tough pick. Honestly, I'm leaning towards Glimmer Seeker. Like if this was just a real wrath, I would take it for sure. You know, if it was destroy all creatures with power four or less, I'd snap it. I snap take it, but it's not. So let's take the Glimmer Seeker here. Maybe we could table the abandoned campground. I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. But. Uh, okay, this is definitely the worst pack so far, but still solid playable underwater tunnel, slimy aquarium. Let's take it. Fear Surveillance is really nice. Huge fan of this card. Just kind of does everything you want in, in all the decks. It just it checks the box. Except for, I guess, green-white survival, right? Because it doesn't tap, but still really good. Uh, another Skullcap Nuisance. Probably won't play black, but let's keep our options open. Seize from Slumber is okay. Not a card I really want to play, but uh, this pack's kind of another stinker here. I don't think we'll play any of these. I'll take the Twist Reality, though. Wouldn't be the worst card to play. Table Duskmorn's Domination, we'll take it here. I'll probably not even play it. I really don't like it very much. We tabled the Fear of Infinity, so the blue-black land did not table, but the Fear of Infinity did, and also the Terramorphic Expanse did not table. So um, I wouldn't say it's a huge surprise, but because if you want the blue-black land, you probably want Fear of Infinity, right? So I would guess the person who took the blue-black land is maybe solidly like some three colors, maybe not an eerie deck. Like maybe they're, I don't know, like blue, black, red, and they're just like doing rooms or something and splashing for some removal. I'm not sure, but, um, or, or green, black, blue. You don't really have eerie for those either. Like blue, black, green, delirium. I think that would make sense. Um, so yeah, we have 17 playables right now, so we don't necessarily need black, but if we just, you know, if there's a bunch of packs with good blue-black lands or terramorphic expanses and no blue-white playables, then uh, we'll take them.
Uh, I, I mean, another skullcap nuisance certainly wouldn't be bad, but let's take the abandoned camp campground here. Having a duel, which is blue-white, still helps us splash, right? Because it'll be easier for us to play swamps opposed to plains, for example, right? Because we'll have like one extra blue or one extra white to land, depending on how you look at it. Okay, pack three, uh, good black pack. Funeral room, whenever a creature control dies, each opponent loses one life, you gain one life. And then Awakening Hall is Living Death, right? Return all creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Actually, it's better than Living Death. Um, awesome. Very good, very expensive. Defiled Crypt Cadaver Lab is pretty good, too. I think we'll just take the Flood Pitch Drowner. This card's really good. Just the, the value in this card is insane. Um, if you did notice, I don't think we got a ton of white playables last pack, right? We got a... Glimmer Seeker, Grand Entryway, and Seize from Slumber. So, as I expected, we didn't get a ton of white cards last pack. Uh, so, this is one of these packs that I wish we had a, you know, a Terramorphic Expanse or a Blue-Black Duel in it, because none of these cards really excite me. Uh, Friendly Ghost is like, okay, we might have enough flyers to make it work. We only have seven creatures. We could really use some more creatures. We do have two underwater tunnels, I think, right? We do, so this will be our third underwater tunnel. Not really great. Yes, yeah, so this is one I wish there was just a nice land in. Uh, Murky Sewer and Terramorphic Expanse, of course they're in the same pack. And then also Orphans of the Wheat. I think we'll play the murky sewer. We'll get the murky sewer here. If we can get like one more terramorphic expanse, I think it might be worth playing blue. Wow, fear of imposter, central elevator. How many? How many do we have? We have one, two, three. You only have three rooms. Different rooms. One, two. We only have three. Yeah, we can't play it. We'd have to have all our rooms. Let's take the Fear of Imposters here over the Unable to Scream. Can we get another blue-black land, please? Or blue or black-white land? Uh, nothing here we want. I don't think we'll play any of these. Maybe Dashing Bloodsucker, actually. We'll take that one. Uh, nothing in this pack worth playing, unfortunately. Can we get another one? No. Uh, I don't love Colt Healer. It's okay. We could probably use another body, but we need another two drop, not another three drop. Megalodon is okay. Our curve is pretty high already, though. Uh, no more Terramorphic Expanse or anything. Another Bloodsucker. Spectral Snatcher, I'm not going to play that. I think we have enough removal. I'm going to take the Bear Trap just in case. The Filed Crypt Cadaver Lab, again, pretty good. I think we're going to have to play Black here. Which I don't love, don't love it. Yeah, I wish this murky sewer wasn't in the same pack. Oh, there's the central elevator. Uh, maybe I'll play it. Maybe I'll play it. Well, black was definitely open this draft. I think if I didn't first pick the Overlord of Mistmore, maybe I would have ended up blue-black. Would have had like four murders in our deck. I think Esper's the way to go here. What do we do, guys? Do we play this crazy land? Central Elevator, Promising Stairs. Three mana. Surveil one at the beginning of your upkeep. If you have eight or more different names among unlocked doors of rooms you control. We could just like play all our rooms. <laughs> all right, so we played Crypt. Could even play Daryl like Attic. Widow's Walk. 
probably not a good idea. Let's see. We have meat locker, central elevator, defile crypt three, underwater tunnel four, five. That's probably it, right? Five. We play derelict addict at six. Let's let's do it, man. Let's just have some fun, right? Let's embrace the black cards here. I don't know if I want to pick murder, though. Double black might be too much. Um, cut like Cold Hill Healer, cut Twist Reality. Emerge from Cocoon. Do we want to merge from Cocoon? I don't want Duskmore's Domination. All right, this is like a five drop. This is closer to a one drop, two drop. Five drop, five drop. Winter's Intervention wouldn't be bad. Right now, removal, we have two unable the screams. Withering Torment. Seeds from Slumber, four. We don't have a ton of removal. Playing Winter's Intervention is definitely good against aggro decks for sure. It may not be the best card ever, but it is definitely good against aggro decks. I think I'll cut the Emerge from Cocoon because we're going to play the Defiled Crypt Cadaver Lab, so we do have a way to bring this back in case they kill it. That's 43. And we're honestly just as much black as we are white because we didn't get any white cards in pack two. And black was clearly open. Fear of immobility doesn't really excite me too much. Dashing Bloodsucker should be pretty good. We have 15 enchantments in our deck. God, imagine if we had a Gremlin Tamer. Tra trainer? Tamer? Gremlin, Gremlin tra Tamer, I think, right? Um, hmm. I guess maybe fear of immobility. Could probably play 16. It still leaves me one more cut. Maybe underwater tunnel. I know playing central elevator is not the best play, guys, but it's fun. And fun is important. Our, our curve is definitely high, but rooms really skew it. Five, five, and five. That gives us seven blue, six black, six white. That's probably what's optimal. Given Overlord of Mistmores is double white, so we want to make sure we have enough to actually cast that. Uh, there'll definitely be times we wish we had a little more islands, but I think this is this is correct. Yeah, this is what I'm going with. Oh, wait, we got to cut a land. Right, okay. Or we just play 17 and cut another card. Could cut a swamp. Give us five black sources. I'm just going to, I'm going to cut an underwater tunnel. All right, 17 lands, mana base is good. Uh, playing black helped us with our curve for sure too by playing the two Skullcap Nuisances so we don't get overrun by like a nice red-white aggro deck. So I think our curve is much better now. Uh, I don't know if our deck's OP, but we do have Overlord of Miss, Miss Moors. If we win one game with Central Elevator or Promising Stairs... It'll all be worth it. Let's play some games. All right, game one, we are playing Tacmat. Tacmat 71. Okay. Looks great, right? No enchantments, but we have our two drop skull, skull cap nuisance. We already have double black now. We'll need our second white. Probably need some blue at some point. Black, white, red. 
Alright, so that fear of imposter is going to be hard to cast. Split skin doll, sure. Okay, somehow we got another swamp. Uh, we attack for one here. Play another one. Play a swamp. We got Bloodsucker next turn. Trapped in the screen, okay. So they'll hit us for three this turn. That's fine. Fear of Infinity is good. Let's attack for one again. Play the Bloodsucker. So next turn, we will play Fear of Infinity and have Winter's Intervention man up, which is awesome. We'll also get the Surveil next turn with Skullcap Nuisance after playing Fear of Infinity. So we don't draw any more lands we don't want. Which is really just Swamp, because if we draw an Island or Plains, we should kind of keep it. Especially Island. Pardon Escort, not a threat. Okay, Island, cool. Surveil. Flood Pitch Drowner. I mean, that card's pretty good, right? Let's tag with our 4-5. Uh, they could triple block here, but we have Winter's Intervention for the massive blowout. Are they going for it? That would be awesome. Then we kill everything but the rat. Okay. All right, we gain four life. They manifest dread. What's cool, next turn we'll have uh, double blue open for Fear of Imposters, and if they don't play something we want to counter, we just play Flood Pitch Drowner. So. Kind of hope they do play something we want to counter so we could trigger our Eerie. Because all three of our creatures have Eerie, which is good in a deck that has 15 enchantments. Stick Twister. Okay, that's a card we want in Winter's Intervention for sure. Okie dokie. Uh, let's just attack with three in the air. I don't think we could lose this game. They did stumble a little bit with their mana. I guess I'll play a swamp here. I have to see if I have much looting in our deck. We have the Drowned Diner, which is draw and discard. That's probably it. Rat, sure, we don't need to counter that. Is that our only... Uh that's our only looting, so the one card. So it's okay we played that swamp. Not sure what attack they're considering here. I mean, I guess they could have attacked, right? All right, let's play this. We'll tap down the escort. Awesome. All right, let's play the Elegant Rotunda. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they scoop here, honestly. Uh, sure, we'll keep that one. I don't think they could possibly win at this point. They go to 10, we gain... Seven health. Fear of imposters in case they get anything good. So next turn looks like Play Central Elevator, search for probably Meat Locker, which will trigger Eerie.
then we can't play it. We only have two mana up. So probably just pop the grand entryway, but there's not really any value there, so maybe not. I think that's worth countering. Just because we're winning in the air right now, so. I think it's Meat Locker Ground Diner. We won't have a follow up to this turn, but. It's, it's still really good, right? Surveil, planes. Whatever, I'll keep it. They could kill our dashing bloodsucker now. We have so much health, it doesn't matter. All right, I probably should have kept track of this. I don't know what's what, but. Oh, we did kill, we killed something, so that's good. Uh, I will crack this now. Because we clearly have an enchantment next turn, so. So even if they play a flying threat, we can meet Locker it and attack them for five in the air. So unless they have a Wrath. Okay, sure, they're alive another turn. Let's play Drown Diner. Surveil, uh, I'll keep that one. Discard a Swamp. Attack for two, they go to one. We're at 39. Yeah, I, I still think we win this game if they, they're not stuck on three lands for most of it, but. Okay, so we win. Wow, well, we we could have beat them uh, next turn actually with the. Um, well, it wouldn't it wouldn't be next turn? We'd have eight rooms unlocked with different names at the end of our turn, next turn, but it wouldn't trigger till the following turn. So we are two turns away. I think that's pretty close, right? We'll, we'll get it, we'll get it one of these games. Okay, we're playing Manguste. Oh man, um, yeah, this has gotta go. All right, this is good. I don't think we'll be lucky to get all three of our colors in every opening hand, but I guess I'll cut the grand entry with no, I'll cut with Winter's Intervention. That's probably the worst card in our hand, right? But this is a really nice, really nice six lander for sure. A uh, six, not six lander. Really nice mulligan hand. So we have white, we have double blue, double black. So one more planes and we're we're good. Which again we'll need for our. Our Mist Moors. Bloodsucker is good. We'll keep that one. Uh, surveilling here is pretty awkward. I think it's still fine, though. Actually, no, I'm going to pass. I'll just Withering Torment, whatever they play. Given it's not like a total crap card, but. Okay. Made the right choice there, huh? That's our double white. 
All right, we're doing good. Next turn, we probably slimy aquarium. All right, fine. Doesn't change our play. Okay, let's attack. Sure, we'll keep it. Uh, I'm not going to surveil here, given we know it's on top already. Oh, I made a mistake. Kind of stupid, stupid. I should have done the other thing first. I made a mistake. Dummy. Total dummy, guys. Uh, we'll keep both of those. That's a bummer. I milled that. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay. Surveilling doesn't really help us right now. So the attack will just be three damage if we do this first. That was foolish. That was foolish on my part. Okay, friendly ghost pumps the friendly ghost. Do they attack? Oh, thanks. I want to say thanks. Why can't I say thanks? All right, let's play nuisance here. Pump these two guys. Keep unable to scream. None of the attacks make sense because they could double block. Well, nothing, huh? Okay. Interesting. Good, get rid of a, a land there. Mm, I mean, that doesn't really help us right now, but I think we can keep it. Yeah, all right, let's attack. Okay. Now we have something to bring back with the key bearer. We get the trigger eerie. Next turn again. We got rid of their flyer, so now our 4 4 can attack. Keep that. Let me get to surveil again. Maybe I should have just got rid of that, you know? We could have fished for something a little bit better. Flood pitch drowner next turn, attack them for a million. I'm really bummed about our central elevator. Quizzed Glimmer, it's another we one we didn't see at all. Would have been really good in our deck. They are just as flying as we are. Key Bear or Drowner. All right, let's play the key bearer, I suppose. So they have something for black, white, instant speed. Friendly ghost is big. So we need one of our, we have one enable to scream. Even winter's intervention would help get past that. Uh, or seize from slumber. That's really all we have right now. 
we flip open the morph, it'll become a 5-4. That can also just get past the friendly ghost by itself. But we need double blue to do that, which means we can't flood pitch drowner or cast ghostly key bearer. All right, I'll cast Meat Locker here. They have seven men up. Can't help but they may have a counter, right? Sure. This is gonna be a long game, guys. Another blue card. Okay. Uh, I could play Flood Pitch Drowner now. I don't think so. Uh, sure. All right, they still have three cards in their hand. Seven mana again. That resolved right away, though. That is good news. I think it might be worth shuffling in the Friendly Ghost. Great, now we could attack for one in the air. All right, let's attack. We need six mana. Oh no, this is two mana. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Okay. We're a little bit overdue for a land here. We're missing our eerie triggers. Yep, that was inevitable. Uh, if we attack with Glimmer Seeker, we'll definitely run into a creature here. Let's attack. Let's attack with a couple more creatures here. Let's let's get rid of some of these guys. They only have one, two, three, so. Sure. They are, they are pretty low in health. All right, so we killed their flyer. So they're not blocking our 4-4. Four, four. All right, let's just wait. <laughs> I always do this. It's like... Okay, who is that? That is the 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, then this one, again, we could flip it open, make it a 5-4, so same difference. Sure. There at six, cleaned up the board a little bit here. Um, Swamp has basically no value in our hand, but we'll keep it and just bluff it because we don't have any um, looting things at this point, so. I mean, playing Flood Pitch Drowner on Inquisitive Glimmer is not very exciting. I think they're getting flooded. Five, they have nine lands in play. 
Yeah, again, we're, we're overdue for sure for more lands. That's a good one. <clears throat> Alright, that resolved right away, so I think we win. This should be lethal. So I don't know what was in their hand. It could be three lands. They could have been that flooded. Uh, so we definitely misplayed with the Manifest Dread card. Once we saw a Central Elevator on top, we should have kept it. Probably win that game faster and with the room win condition. So misplay on my part, but we did get the W. Okay, game number three. We're playing Dade. Die D. Uh... There would be games where we knew we'd need blue, right? We got to turn two grand entryway and then really nothing else until we draw an island. We have only 21% of our cards are give blue sources, so it would take us five turns to draw a blue card on at blue, an island on, on average. So we're going to mulligan. Uh, this hand is... I guess better. Cut the fear of surveillance. We'll just be blue black this game. Turn two skullcap nuisance into promising stairs is totally fine by me. We got a removal spell in case our opponent is aggro and they're black red, so they might be. We have double black for cadaver lab to file the crypt on the same turn. Stick twister is great. All right, let's play the Promising Stairs here. We get the Surveil. Meat Locker. It's tough to get rid of Meat Locker when we have this card in play and we have two other rooms in our hand, right? We have to keep it. I don't really want it, but we have to keep it. It's much rather a land, you know? Chainsaw is good. Chainsaw on stick twister is pretty good too. Hopefully that's all they do. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, let's meet Locker, a stick twister. All right, so once we have a planes, we have enough uh, rooms to win with our uh, central elevator. Take two. We'll keep that one. Four mana. We could pay four here and tutor for a room. What do we have? We have an underwater tunnel, slimy aquarium. We just play Defiled Crypt here. I think that makes more sense, actually. But this might be the game, boys. We have four, three rooms unlocked. Take two again, sure. Seized from slumber. Um... I hope I don't regret this. I think that's probably better for us. You get a 2 2. Um, let's play the nuisance here. Five rooms unlocked. Just got to slow this guy down a little bit here. Don't want to see a haste creature here. So we lose our 2-2. Will they attack with Fear of Lost Teeth? 
Probably not, right? They are. That's a surprise. All right. Hopefully they target the nuisance. They don't. Okay. An island here would be fantastic. Do I have less than 13 health? 13 or less. Awesome. That was that is, that is the best possible draw, I feel like. So we could play Stick Twister. I mean, we could play Unable to Scream on Stick Twister. Now we Central Elevator, right? Use our mana as best as we can. Guess we don't really need Central Elevator, right? Ah, uh, Drown Diner is very expensive. One, two, three, four. This is five. All right. Uh, I just want to be really efficient with our mana. This is the least efficient thing with our mana, but we have to survive as well, you know? One, two, three, four. We have five, six in our hand. We need eight still. We still have a while ago. So one, two, yeah. All right, well, that's fine. We definitely need blockers though, right? I want to have at least two creatures every, every turn. Yeah, that's great, man. That's awesome. Let's make a 1-1. One, one. one, two, three, four, five. If we unlock it, it's six. I suppose we unlock it here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We play this, we unlock this, we win the game at upkeep. Unless they have destroy target enchantment or creature. Oh my God. We go to one right now. Okay, we're at one. That gives us two creatures. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven, eight. If we do this next turn, if they have a removal spell, we're dead. If we play Overlord and Mismores, we have two blockers. So we shouldn't die next turn. All right, guys, I'm going for it. Oh, it's not different rooms, guys. It's not eight different rooms. One, two, three, four, five. It's not different rooms. It's got to be different rooms. I need to unlock the other two. Uh, okay, I think I might have punted. So I do need to tutor. Yeah, I, I think I think we're gonna lose because it's not it's not eight different eight or more different names among unlocked. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to unlock Central Elevator and Drown Diner. Removal spell. 
Oh my god, that is that is really good. This costs five and this costs four. We're like one mana short of what we want to do. All right, we're still dead to a removal spell here. Could I have won this game? Still not over, but now it is. All right, we played Overlord and Miss Moore's last turn instead of playing the Elegant Rotunda. I mean, we, we might still lose. We have to see what our next card is. Ah, I'm thinking of just eight unlocked rooms. You gotta misplay with every card once, right? So you know what it does. Unfortunately, we didn't misplay with this card earlier in the, in the format. Okay. Pekavo? pc of -o? Peck of o. All right, we'll keep this one. Looks looks pretty strong. We need a black, but... I wish I could redo last game. See if it would have turned out any different. Yeah, definitely need a swamp. This could be one of those games where we just draw black cards and never get a swamp. Those games are not fun. Cheerleader. Okay, at least that's not a black card. Swamp off the top would be good. It's one of those games. Probably make cheerleader unblockable and then attack. Key bear is fine. Drawing a meat locker would be pretty good. No removal for this guy? No trapped in the scream or dragon fire incinerate card? Okay, they're swinging. We're not, they're not attacking. Just hitting me for two. Guess they're playing defensive, I guess. I don't know. Do we trade a 1-1 one -one token for one of their 1-1s? One I yeah, guess so. Hey, Swamp. Um, I think Bloodsucker is the way to go here. That's a good trade. So we currently don't have an enchantment trigger for blood Dashing Bloodsucker next turn. But it's still a very good blocker. Because if we do draw an enchantment, we gain four life on an attack, we probably just win. Given their deck, we'd be obliterated by a Pyroclasm. They're just attacking some more for the 2-2. Two -two. All right, and we're at 12. An island. That does not help us. Hmm. I 
think that's fine. I could Winter's Intervention here, but I don't really care. I think our life total is still high enough where we could just keep playing Dashing Blood Suckers and not have to worry about Winter's Intervention. Swamp would be good. Non black enchantment would be better. Like, imagine a, a strong meat locker here. We meat lock or something, we attack, we drown diner, we still have black one open for winter's intervention. We gain eight life when we attack. Hey, if, if they want to attack... Oh yeah, I guess we don't have a flyer now, right? If they want to attack with that 1-1 one, one to draw a card... I'll give it to him. You want the card? Take the card, buddy. Spoiler alert. That's going to be perfect card to Winter's Intervention, whatever they target with that. What? Oh, they only... Oh, Swamp is good. Swamp is good. I'm going to attack with two now. Then. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure we won this game. FOMO, um, okay. Four damage to me, four damage to one of my creatures. They'll probably kill the key bearer. Okay. Do I kill the cheerleader here? I think I might even want to kill the ragged playmate, actually. Just have to draw an enchantment and we win. Yeah, I think we gotta kill a playmate. Enchantment. Alright, not an enchantment. Okay, well now no one can attack. And we could have attacked with two bloodsuckers. But we would be trading a cheerleader for a bloodsucker and hitting them for two, or just hitting them for two. That doesn't seem good, especially when the bloodsuckers are, they basically die if we draw an enchantment, right? We gain eight life, we surveil twice. So the next card we could also play as an enchantment, given we have so many enchantments in our deck, we have an extremely high case of drawing an enchantment. We have three cards in our deck that are not lands and not enchantments. All right, I'll go for it, buddy. Oh, yeah, they could just play that again, right? Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize that. That's really good. So we kind of have to kill Norrin now, too. But if they blink that now... They only have one blocker. I spend the whole turn casting it again. I mean, they should probably do it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I would say we have a close to a 50% chance of drawing an enchantment here. And we just win. Totally just win. That sucks. Yep, we just lose. It sucks. Really sucks. Okay. NXPKSM. Bronze. Hopefully we beat this bronze guy. There's not a lot of people playing this format at this point. Uh, let's keep it. Yeah, we're going to need a swamp, right? God, last game was heartbreaking, right? So many opportunities to draw an enchantment. Opponents on the mall. Good two drop. Got our black source. I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm feeling pretty good about this game. I don't think I've ever seen this land. Probably, that's probably not true. Maybe I haven't seen it in play. Because it just looks so different to me, you know? Now it looks normal. All right, stack for two. We'll keep that one. Uh, let's play the tap land and then the grand entryway. Next turn, we'll play the key bearer. Hopefully, we still have fear of surveillance in play. We could make sure we don't draw any more lands because we have double white, we have double blue. Mine Skinner's good. So we'll have to kill that. Uh, could Flood Pitch Drowner it instead? All right, let's attack for three. I guess we'll keep that. Suppose. Oh, I I didn't play. Oh, jeez. I'm like I don't have black. Jeez. I thought I had black. I really panicked there. Five mana next turn. We don't have triple blue. So we can't, we'll probably just pass. I guess we pay three, unlock the room, and then have Flood Pitch Drowner mana open. Or cast Flood Pitch Drowner. Let's spread the wealth here. Bash for five. Don't need that. Can't get past that on the ground. Could play Key Bear into Unable to Scream. They have a lot of mana up. They might have their own fear of imposters here. I think they do. I think we're still going to play Unable to Scream on the Stalked Researcher. Don't make a sound. Okay, didn't see that coming, but close enough. Perfect. Okay, they go to six. We got a meat locker on top. for one we go to 17 nothing huh all right it's attack for three see what they have maybe we'll fear imposters something
Sure. Uh, I'd rather trade my fear of surveillance than the counter drowned diner, so. And I don't want to give them a 2 2, it doesn't help anything. Wow, that's shit. I mean, it's, that's what it is. So we had four lands on top because we just surveilled away one of them as well. That's bad. I mean, we're still in good shape here, right? We're at 16, they're at six. We have a meat locker in play to lock down something. We don't have enough mana to meet Locker and Fear of Imposters, which is a bit of a bummer. But it's the play, nonetheless. Okay, what do you got, buddy? Glimmer Burst, sure. Can I do this as an instant? I can. Trade with that, they go to four, or shuffle in my Flood Pitch Drowner. No, it's fine. Them drawing two cards is a bummer. That would have been a card we would have liked to, to uh, counter for sure. Okay. Uh, we're going to cast Seeds from Slumber on Fear of Failed Test so we can put them down to two. So they have something else here. Somehow we drew another land. Okie dokie. Doesn't look like we're going to win next turn unless they scoop here. Need a removal spell or a creature with two cards. But I feel like if they had it, they would have cast it already. Unless they have like a trap in the screen, they don't want to waste it. But that's unfortunate. Gain three life and get a huge creature back. A little suboptimal there. Hopefully they did not stabilize here. Unable to scream. I think we have to counter that. We don't want them to be able to get in with fear of fail tests. Now they won't even attack with it. And now we have three creatures. They have three creatures. There are five. Hopefully we just draw a room here. Any room. All right. Play Tunnel Surveyor, attack with everything. No, their morph is actually a creature. They have something, I don't think they're in full control. Pretty flooded, so hopefully we don't draw too many other lands this game. 3-3. Three, three. Oh, they go to 1. Okay. Kill their flyer. Will they attack? No attack. Okay, cool. Fear of Infinity is good. Although if we play it, we attack. We play it, we attack. 
they could double block our Bloodsucker, which would kill it. And then they would go to two. Yeah, let's just play Fear of Infinity here and just hope to win with it. Sixty-five percent chance we draw a non-land card. That's pretty high. I think that scoop was a little early, but I'll take it. Righted the, righted the ship. I gotta right the ship. I I've righted the ship. Sounds wrong. Rot. Okay, Zoinks. We're playing Zoinks. Zoink, Scoob. All right, we'll keep this one. It's a little risky, but let's keep it. We have a two drop. We have the best card in our deck. If we draw an island, it would be great. If we don't draw an island, we draw planes. That's great, too. So. Of course, it's risky, but if we play a turn four Overlord of Miss. All right. We play a turn four Overlord of Mist Morse, uh, it'll all be worth it. So let's draw an island into a plains. Clown. Okay, not an island, but still pretty good. One more land. Any untapped land. Grab the prize. We take two. So they're Naya. Any on tap land. All right. Nice. Okay. Worth the keep. All right. It's attack for four. Play Bloodsucker. I think we won, guys. So first we beat a bronze player, and now we're playing a mythic player. Hospital room. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but. Um, Jesus. Pretty gassy. Seems fair. Glad we kept this hand. Dead on board. That was a nice one. Nice quick one. Overlord of Miss Moore's is really good. I'm very, very thin. I've opened it like three times. I got to check my record for every time I've opened it. Okay, we're playing Deceptions. Another mythic player. Really, you just play anybody who's who's playing in this format. Uh, we'll keep it. Let's hope we don't just draw a million white cards early on, huh? Turn two Skullcap Nuisance is a good thing. Mana Dork? I don't think they can kill... Oh, they can. They reveal a creature card in their hand card? Yeah, sure. Fear of Exposure. Now this hand just turns awkward, right? Two cards, four mana we really want to cast. So we'll play an end of turn Flood Pitch Drowner into a Dashing Bloodsucker. That seems pretty good. Maybe I should have played an Island. Kind of bluff that I have the counter spell. They're probably thinking, what do we have? Sure. Bloodsucker. Let's hope they don't kill our bloodsucker here. If they don't, we'll be in really good shape. Awesome. 
So we'll play the Cadaver Lab. Oh my god. Sorry, we played Defiled Crypt. Sorry. Trade with the Drowner. I think they kept the card on top. Okay. All right, so we just want to draw planes, I guess, right? Just take that, right? We're on the offense here. Planes would be great. No matter what, we're going to be able to lifelink here. All right. Let's unlock this thing. Nuisance. Unfortunately, we can't kill the fear of exposure. Uh, I don't want it to kill our bloodsucker, so. Should block the 8 5, we gain 8 life, we go to 29, they go to 10. All right, we have nothing good to do next turn unless we draw planes. Or a lower black spell, of course. We have... Okay. Awesome. All right, we play Meat Locker here, trigger the Bloodsucker, tap down the 4-3, swing with everything. And they have something. Dashing Bloodsucker is another card that, like, to me looked so bad, but it actually really, I mean, it's good. It's good. Like, four mana, two, five. If you play an enchantment, it becomes a four, five. But if you play three enchantments, it gets really big, right? And just, like, hitting, hitting your opponent for four lifelink is, like, it's big. I think Deceptions is just salty right now. I don't I don't think they have anything. It's just a salty boy. Okay, finally. One trigger down. One to go. It's an enchantment, right? So I guess we just mill it, right? It was eerie, we just get it back. I guess we'll keep it. It triggers eerie by itself. I wonder if they double block the bloodsucker. They don't. Patchwork Beastie. Slayer. Attack for both. We could play Winter's Intervention on Most Valuable Slayer. I guess it's probably better to do that next turn, right? Yep, keep it. So next turn, Glimmer Seeker and Winter's Intervention. We may get our... If the game lasts that long, hopefully it doesn't, but 
Um, we may get our double white by the time we have seven lands anyway, so we might just be casting this thing. Unless we got two planes stick together, sticky sleeves. Okay, a lot of removal in this deck. One, two, three. Well, I guess that's not that much. Um, let's play Glimmer Seeker. Let's attack for one. Let's hold the Winter's Intervention. We have a lot of health. Piggy bank, sure. Will they attack with it? No, they won't. Give the Slayer first strike. That is a pretty aggressive attack. Let's hope they're not a second color here, guys. Turn inside out. Okay. That's a miss and a half. Okay. Let's drown diner. Uh, we don't want that. No white, dude. Okay, so we have nothing this turn. Really thought we'd get a planes there. We just want a planes for Overlord of Mistmoors. I guess it's the sewer. If we play sewer this turn and there's a planes on top, we can play cast Overlord of Mistmoors next turn. A one in four chance of a planes being on top. That's not very high. All right, I'll cut Tunnel Surveyor. Next turn, we'll Bloodsucker and Seize from Slumber open. damage. Another Slayer, okay. Interesting. We can double block the piggy bank now.
Whoa, where's the anim- that was weird. Alright, so we have Boomer Seeker, we lose our Vampire. There it is. GG. Cool. I was right. We were going to cast it on turn seven. Not on turn seven, but in seven lands. So we have no problem beating the mythic players. We're just struggling with the silver player. <laughs> Dominic Dion. Dominic Dion. Uh, I'm going to do a really greedy keep here and keep this. We got this surveil too early on. If we draw on a planes early, we're totally fine. If we draw a second land early, we're totally fine. Opponents on the mall anyway. We got an early creature now. Percussionist, not concerned with getting pinged one every turn. Okay, let's underwater tunnel here. We want to see planes, planes, fear, surveillance. Honestly, it triggers, it triggers eerie. We want a planes for sure. So we're going to play a land this turn pass. Turn three, we'll play planes. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. I want more lands. Holy Annex is really good. They lose two and draw a card. If they control a demon, which they can get it at turn five, then they get a 6-6, six, six, and then I lose two life. We don't really have a removal spell for said demon yet. Which is definitely a problem. Because they already have the double black, so realistically next turn they'll have a demon. They may even have a demon earlier. So unable to scream makes it a toy, so that would work. We have two of those. Withering Torment, three. Seize from Slumber, four. So four removal spells for that. Land off the top into Dashing Bloodsucker is what we want. Ugh. That sucks. All right, I mean, we drew the best card in our deck, right? So I'm not going to be too upset, but we do need another land. So they'll have a demon this turn. So let's draw a removal spell or a planes. All our we can cast all our removal. So, so now we lose two health and they draw a card. And they gain two life. Right? Yeah. God, another another not removal spell. I mean, Nuisance helps us get to a removal spell. The alternative is to play Flood Bridge Drowner. Attack for two. Delay us another turn. Or we play Nuisance, we take eight next turn. I, I don't think we can afford to just take eight. I think I'd rather just do this. I, I could shuffle that in, I guess. I guess that's the removal spell. Shuffle in the token. Yeah, that's the play. So they have to kill Dread Flood Pitch Drowner or we shuffle in their token. Oh no, it doesn't even... We, yeah, we can't do it. We'd have to do it end of their turn. Yeah, that that's probably should have been what I did. 
End of their turn, I play Floodbridge Drowner. I tap down their token. Then un I untap. It has a stun counter on it. I shuffle it in. Now I can't shuffle it in because it doesn't have a stun counter. Okay. Two. Come on, removal spell. Like a meat locker or a planes. Okay. That's. I don't think that was a good play, but. All right. We're back online. They're still getting pretty huge card advantage here. This will stop them from attacking, but we're still getting drained for two every single turn. I mean, they might attack. If, like, wouldn't be mad if they attacked. They are attacking. Okay, let's uh, chump block here. And I think we take three. Because when they attack me for six, I'm blocking it. So I'm losing a two one, then I'll be able to swing back for four. Turn inside out, okay, that's a lot of damage. So we're gonna go to nine. Expect that turn inside out on an unblocked creature, but God, if we just draw and unable to scream, like game's over, I think. Fear of Infinity is doing work. They've drawn four more cards in this game. Okay, meat locker's fine. Do we meat locker here? It doesn't really net us much. Alternative, we play Bloodsucker. We can gain more life later. Definitely need to attack with the Fear of Infinity. We'll get the Overlord in a couple turns. Yeah, we don't have a ton of life, right? We're going to go down the 7 for sure, and they have a 6-6 six, six Flyer. I feel like I, I think I need to meet Locker it. This is tough. This is really hard. I'm just going to attack with the, the Fear of Infinity. I'll have the 2-1 as a blocker for the 6-6. Six, six. There's so much they can have, but I need to kind of play to win here. Meat Locker is not getting it done. It's just delaying the inevitable. So... If we play Bloodsucker, we can, you know, attack more next turn. We could play Skullcap Nuisance and have Winter's Intervention. That's not the worst thing ever, right? Gives us an extra blocker. God, there's so many different things I could do here. Oh, we can't, no, 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 we can't cast that in Winter's Intervention. Okay. All right, let's play Bloodsucker and hope we don't lose here. 
opponent has seven lands to our four. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're in trouble here. We're like super close to being dead. Okay, so it's a good chance they have her. They're Jund. Jund has all the removal always, right? If they kill the 2 1 here, we're pretty much dead. That seems somehow worse for us. They probably have both. I think we're dead. I think we finished 5 5 3, guys. Just didn't draw the right removal here. Uh, so tough. Definitely tough. We lost some close ones for sure. Uh, I wish I could have run redo, redone the one game where we would have almost had eight um, for the Central Elevator Promising Stairs deck. Deck was fun. Uh, I mean, I, I think it was good. Very thematic. I think of our mana base. Our mana base could have been better, but really our mana wasn't too much of a problem. But uh, yeah, good deck. I liked it. I'd be happy to come out with this deck and draft every time. I think Overlord Miss Moore is definitely a component of that that I cannot, uh, cannot oversimplify how good that card is. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, I think if is cube on now. I think cube is a cube's going now. Let's see. Cube. Oh, it just came. It just came on. It just came on. So next video will be a cube. And uh, yeah, so that's always fun. Maybe I'll force counter spells like I usually do. I usually have success with that. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, cube on Friday. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.